Just talked about how when you signed, you texted them and you said, these are my goals for my freshman year and these are how I plan to accomplish them. What were those goals and what was the plan that you laid out to them? Yeah, um, I mean, it wasn't necessarily just for my freshman year. Um, I just told them, like, pretty much my overall goals that I want to have um, at the university. I told them that I want to uh, end up winning a blitz in the car, um, win a Heisman by the time I end here. Um, I did say I wanted to start as a true freshman, um, so kind of did do a little bit of that so far, making an impact. But, you know, I definitely do got a lot of goals, um, team goals and um, personal goals as well. And I said I want to win a national championship, and that's all our goals. So definitely working towards that. What do you see when you watch like the kickoff or the turn back from the, the sky view? Obviously, you see it differently on the field. But do you pick up anything new when you're able to see on that view? Yeah, sometimes I, I actually kind of get a little confused on um, what I do sometimes. Um, I kind of look at this stuff, and it's just like, shoot, hey, I did it. But, I mean, it's pretty cool just to see how, you know, I read the certain blocks of certain leverages that the guys are putting out there. And it's basically, like I said, it's just instinct. So. I just go with the instinct, but it's pretty cool to go back and watch my film, learn from a lot of stuff. Uh, maybe I could have took a different route, um, could have read different blocks, different ways. So definitely is a good learning experience as well as having fun watching it. When did you first realize you had that instinct? Definitely my freshman year. Um, I played Orem High School out of Utah, and uh, they kicked it to me. And it was my first one, my first high school game ever. And I, revert, I caught it, went this way. I was like, I didn't have anywhere to go. I reversed field and then took it to the house, and I was like, I feel I could do something with punt return. Are you so that was what I noticed. Sorry. Are you surprised the team still kicked you? No, nah, I'm not surprised. Uh, like I can say last time they still got a job that they got to do, um, trying to execute and get the ball pinned back there. So, I mean, when they have to do their job, they have to do it to the fullest. So, I'm not really surprised. Zion was almost dealing with you on that punt return for the touchdown. What was it like? You know? brothers on the field, touchdown, together on the call team. Yeah, no, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, you know, me and him playing a little handshake we had to do you know, if I was going to get in the end zone. So, you know, we did that. It was a good experience to get out there, you know, experience that with him as well. What's the connection with the um, the true freshman wide receivers, that that group of, of the four of you? Yeah, we got a lot of special guys. Um, I feel like all of us, early success that we're having right now is, is – given to a lot of our coaches and uh, you know the older guys as well because when like I said when I came Taj Washington Rio um, they took me in and you know caught me up to speed so I feel like you know the older guys older receivers did a good job you know catching everybody up to speed making sure we're all on the same page then you know the talent does the rest as well so we got else, a lot of good guys. I'm sorry has anyone else messaged you on Instagram since uh, Hill? Um, yeah a couple guys um, it's been pretty cool though just seeing how many guys showing love reaching out. You feel like you're a hard person to block for given you know, the instinct that you have? <laughs> in, my, in high school, my coach just told the, the punt return team, kickoff team, just make sure you're staying alive because you never know which way that I might go. Um, but, you know, I don't feel like it's hard because I feel like our guys are going to be prepared, you know, watching the film, practicing with us every day. Uh, I feel like those guys are prepared and kind of get the feel of how I move as well. How much is that skill just based on instincts, you think, versus, like, really studying and, like, knowing particulars? Uh, I think I think it's like 75, 25. Um, instinct is, is definitely a lot. Um, I feel like you do have to study a lot too. Like I, I look, um, Coach Hewer did a good job, um, you know, helping me figure out how to see the ball off the punter's foot, um, noticing how the wind is, if the wind's to my back, if the wind's to them, how it's going to carry, if the ball will dive down. So it's a lot of things that you kind of have to look at um, on the punt side of things. But, um, you know, a lot of it is instinct. If you don't hit it, then some of the colds could collapse pretty fast. So. I feel like it's like 75, 25. You obviously get a ton of the credit for the scores. How much do you kind of celebrate the other 10 guys on the field, the blockers and, and all of that that goes into it? Oh, yeah. No, nah, we definitely uh, talk on the sideline like, man, I wouldn't have been in there without you. You know, those guys come up to me. Hey, you see my block, you're going to see it on the film. So um, every time we watch it on, on Sunday when we come in or Monday when we come in, uh, we watch it. And, you know, Coach gives credit to all those guys. I mean, I couldn't do it without them. So. Two more. Any, yeah. any highlight level blocks? That yeah, like shout uh, out. J Rock had one. Um, he took took the guy's helmet off. Um, so that was that was a pretty good one. He told me as soon as he got to the sideline, he was like, "Hey, I told him I got his helmet off. Let him know it was gonna be a touchdown." Then uh, a lot of guys on, on that on that unit, but B Rice one stood out to me as well. Um, you know, he had one initially where. He sealed the edge, and I just cut it right up the middle. And, you know, he did a perfect block because he could have held him, but he was just being a smart player and worked his technique. So, like, those two blocks definitely stood out for me. Thank you, Zach.